<laughs> Isn't it just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life? What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Unoriginal Craft. Oh, yeah. In the last episode, we actually finished the interiors of um, the general store. So, I believe I showed all this. But off screen, I, I know for sure I did the roof. So, I just ended up doing like a flat roof like this. I put glowstone on it. I did this little weird cross pattern. What's with me and crosses, by the way? I seem to do a lot of cross patterns. I just hung glowstone. I originally just wanted to have glowstone down the center. But then I came over here and it turned out it would have been too dark over here. Even with these torches like on the ends of the aisles. So, I ended up, you know, just placing glowstone in these aisles as well. And now it's all lit up and nothing could spawn. Um... <sighs> Philip's dead. It, it's really depressing, actually. Yeah, so... Uh, Mr. Green Hippo actually messaged me on Skype. He's like, <gasps> Philip is dead! I was like, no! And the first thing, I was like, did someone open this and leave it open? But what actually... Well, at least according to Mr. Green Hippo, apparently uh, baby zombies could sometimes glitch through these half slabs or something. So that's probably what happened. They probably got and killed Philip. Especially, actually, I think because he was standing on the workbench. Can I tap? Of course I can't. It's not, no, of course it's not going to let me have it. That would just be too nice. Um, so, yeah, Mr. Green Hippo's been, I mean, wait, what? <laughs> so, Philip's been dead. I don't know if I'm going to bring, well, I might bring someone here. I'll just probably have to remove the crafting table. But, you know, I'll just leave that for now. Item frame. Where did the item frame come from? I don't think I had that. Item frame? Was there any? Was there anything missing here? Is there anything blatantly obvious? No. So I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. It looks really good in my opinion. In my opinion. The doors are gone too. Um, zombies took them off of course. So I mean the zombies were even when I was building and zombies kept attacking this place. So whatever. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not really. Well I guess I'm okay with how this turned out. Oh that's not even correct is it? Hmm. I guess it should be like, come on, come to me, come to mama, come to mama Luigi. All right, that should be like that. So, yeah, I pretty much did a flat roof. I did want to put an apartment originally on top of this. I don't know if I'm going to do that still. I think I might just leave it how it is, to be honest. Um, I don't really see, but oh yeah, I haven't pushed all this back yet either. I need to seriously do that. I completely forgot about that until right this second, actually. <laughs> okay, so today... Well, first off, we should actually check and see who's selling and who's buying what here. Um, I did look in all the chests. The only person... Actually, there's two people selling things. Miss Green Hippo is selling this project, projectile protection 4 and power uh, 4 book. Yeah, power 4. And he's selling it 4. Uh, oh, yeah, he has he has a unit system set up, which is kind of cool. Uh, unit, one unit is 16 iron... Uh, or two ghost tears, ga ghost tears, <laughs> two gas tears, ten books, um, quarter of a diamond, run to the nearest integer, um, and so he's selling an enchanted book for two, or for, wait, so that would be, oh, so he's selling it for one diamond then, what is it again, Pro power four, wait, that's, that's weird, Pro oh, so, Oh, I, that kind of, that's weird. Um, the only other person selling something is Pronote. He's selling this block of glowstone. Does that mean he's selling more glowstone? He's selling his soul one diamond. Mr. Pronote, sir, you've got a deal. <laughs> okay, so, um, I haven't checked my chest, though. <gasps> oh, never mind. Crap, I got excited. I'm looking for a looting sword. But no. I didn't get a loot. I saw the diamonds like, oh, but no, that's that's the opposite of all I see. I actually want to see a sword. Those are my diamonds I placed in there. Um, in here, I have an instruction book. Actually, it's in here as well. But this is actually just the copy in case it ever gets lost. How to use general store. Um, I did say I would finish this off screen. Um, if you guys want to pause and read it, you can go ahead. And there's even a secret YouTube video at the end. Right there, if you want to type that in, go to see like the tutorial, the little secret video I made that's unlisted. You could go do that, and then Supreme Overlord Mr. Green Hippo is here. He freaking put that in there before I was able to sign it because I wrote the entire book and then I went and did the YouTube tutorial and then I came back and then signed it so you know I could put the link in there. So I wrote it all, did the YouTube video, put the link in there, and then came back. And well, when the, by the time I got back. <laughs> you had to put that secret thing there. So now it's going to be there forever. Um, 
I should have probably used that diamond here. But I actually have some sort of sad news. Wait a minute, how come zombies don't... Oh, zombies don't come break his door down because there's no person in here. Makes sense. There's no um, guy. And sad news, our Judah zombie freak, freak actually might be quitting the server. So that's sad. I don't know. He's been really busy lately. Lately, lately. Why do I have this hole on me? That should probably be in here, shouldn't it? Well, let's go in here first. Um, this is a new store, the bookstore. Stock is too low to open. Well, that's sad. Books, two iron each. Is there anything in here? No. Bookshelves, five. Decent enchants, 16 iron each. Good enchants, one diamond each. Wait. Oh, okay, I see. Price is set to change. Pay here. But, you know, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay you in zombie flesh. <laughs> Let's see I like putting random stuff in people's chests like that just to, so when they go there like huh who put this here and just like super confused I don't know why they would have the huh voice, but they do for me. Um, I believe Po go here I guess So today that's actually all that's new at spawn today. We're actually gonna be going to us my spawner uh, We're gonna be going to the spawn the skeleton spawner and we're actually gonna make it into well an actual spawner. What's this say? Oh, for some reason that looked different to me. Um, I placed this here. I actually borrowed some wool. Has he seen it yet? Oh, he did see it. Okay. Yeah, he lent me wool to finish off the um, the general store. So I gave him three diamonds along with the wool I borrowed from him. Uh, Miss Green Hippos are normally helping me with stuff like that. So uh, I, I thought I owed him some. I wanted to give him some diamonds. Plus he gave me a whole like what four diamonds for like accidentally killing me in the in the um, the end fight. I was like, you know what, Mr. Green Hippo, you owe. Oh, oh okay. uh, no 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 no! Come back come back! I owe you some diamonds, so I gave him some diamonds. So yay! All right, I will see you guys once I'm back in my house. So another thing has changed in my house here. First off, uh, when Javos got to the server, he came to my house and placed. I like your church, Javos. When uh, I, I guess Kenny and Miss Green Hippo were giving him a tour, and Kenny was here. Was that already here? I don't know if I showed you guys that. Poopy soup. I placed that there a while ago, because <laughs> it said something else up there. Um, oh right, right, right. No, no, no. The Kenny was here. Was in. Um, was talking about the M here, the McDonald's M. That really just looks like a McDonald's M. That is simply a McDonald's M. <laughs> I like mini pranks like that. Um, I got some extra, I had some extra item frames, so I placed them on here to help me start recognizing. I just haven't done the rest of them yet. Uh, what, is there anything in this chest? Nope, there's nothing designated with that chest, so I don't know why I even bothered, bro. Um, this is my loot chest. I did move all the loot from my strip mine up here. As you see, I almost have a stock of gold blocks, which is crazy. Um, 20 di uh, diamond blocks. I ran out of room for like uh, my redstone blocks. So I actually moved them to my redstone chest. If I can freaking find it. Here we go. So that's where all these are going to be going now. Mostly just because I'm running out of room. <laughs> I don't really strip mined in a while though. The same thing's going to happen with the coal. Like look at this. 2, 4, 6, 12. We have over 12 stacks of um, coal blocks. Almost 13. So I mean that's crazy. We almost have an entire row of Iron too and lapis. I mean seriously, we have way too much stuff. The only thing that's bad about my strip mine is there is it isn't in the extreme hills biome, so I'm not gonna ever get any emeralds, so I may have to eventually like find another place to do that. Um I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of blocks. And I'm back, so I dig out the appropriate amount of space, and now I'm just gonna place all these blocks here. There we go. Ta-da. Actually we probably don't even need to place these corner sandstone pieces but whatever i have sandstone to spare we'll use it up just because oh, unless i do run out of it but i don't think i will well then again i'm using it for the roof as well <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna actually finish this today though guys so this will probably be another two or three part building thing where i try to build this as quickly as possible and not spend way too much time on it pretty much like i've done with the general store and pretty much everything else i ever build i spend way too much time on it there we go all right that is filled up, and there is space under here, just as I wanted there to be. And now, I've been actually, like, um, in between, like, cutting just now, like, before this scene, <laughs> if that's what you would call it. Um, I did have... Actually, I went back to my creative world to check out what exactly this looks like, since I want this to look as good as possible. Is that centered? That's not centered, is it? That's totally not centered. Okay, that's going to be there. 
Alright, so I guess what I'm going to do is a wall first, and then I'll do the rest of it off, or do the other walls off screen. Alright, so there's my redstone lamp. And these are going to be fully functioning, by the way. I've, that's right, I've actually done redstone research. <laughs> I've done redstone, um, which is actually kind of complicated, more complicated than I thought it would be, surprisingly. Especially because I didn't realize Mojang made, like, they made redstone surprisingly, like, not as, or, like, accurate, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. Is that correct? Well, crap, why is there an extra piece up there? Uh, oh, that's right, because the roof is actually going there, so th that's all going to be sandstone as well. Should we just do that now, I wonder, so I don't confuse the heck out of myself? Maybe we should. Unless I'm wrong, which I very well could be, and I might have to tear this entire roof out. Okay, well, we'll, I'll do the rest of the roof off screen. Um, the other blocks I'm using are, <gasps> gasp, I know what stained clay is. Why? That's wiggity wiggity whack. Actually, I think I actually did it with a light stain. There, I, is that what I did? I think so. With the light stained. And then I did like blue in the corners. No, it can't be like that. This entire corridor is kind of pointless. I should probably cover it with cobble so nothing spawns here. I'll leave that sandstone, whatever. Whatever. Dang it, I definitely want to, to get that buck. I really don't have much clay. Okay, so that was... That's that, and that's... That. So essentially, this is going to be a pretty simple design, I guess. I'm going to do all the walls the same here. Uh, I do gotta do all this, <laughs> I was gonna say bluestone, all this redstone stuff, um, so I do gotta dig out behind all this and figure out how to make that efficient, well actually I did, I already did it all off screen, like in my creative world, but I am definitely worried about how it's gonna turn out here, so I think, and then, can I please get that, no oh, dang it, can I please get that other block back, yeah, hmm, do I like that better? Alright, I gotta get these torches back up. Seriously, I'll break a torch and then a skeleton will immediately spawn. It's like they know. They just know when they get their opportunity. Alright. So the next thing is going to be right... Uh, where is it? Hello? Oh, there's another brick. Follow the nether brick road. Follow the nether brick road. Okay, so... This is how I'm going to be doing the walls. I do have a shovel. I might as well use it. <laughs> My Fortune 2 shovel. So you look at this. Fortune 2 Unbreaking 3 Pickaxe. I, well, actually, I, Fortune 2 Diamond Shovel and Unbreaking 3 Diamond Pickaxe. I was like, those are the worst in Chad. Seriously? Uh, so not only do I have a crappy pick, but I have an uncrappy prick that has a Breaking 3 on it. I just said it. Unbreaking prick. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cover the rest of these walls. And once we do that, I should be back. I'll be back. Ah, oh, it's so pretty, ain't it? It's actually looking a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be, actually. I changed this pattern a bit. I did just have these two corner pieces. I was going to do the top corner pieces. But no, I decided to do two. It does look... Oh, actually, I was going to say it looks kind of strange, like this weird diagonal thing. But I actually think it does look kind of cool. I obviously left this open. I am going to make this a viewing window eventually. Well, not really even eventually. Just really soon, actually. <laughs> um... One other thing I was going to do is I actually made this exact type of skeleton grinder uh, on another server like years ago. Actually, well, that was maybe like a year and a half ago or so. Uh, Sal's Craft. I did a few episodes on that like seriously so long ago. That was actually a very long time ago. Holy crap. And one problem I'd always have is skeletons would always spawn on the top of these things. Actually, it was a zombie spawner. So, the way to pre I'm doing to prevent that is placing a block there so they can't spawn on top. And I had to scratch my neck for a second. Alright, next up here, okay, the plan is here to have, make this a water-based spawner. So, for example, we're going to have the water here, we're going to place a water in this corner, a water in this corner, and the plan is it's going to push all the skeletons down into this corner. Eventually, I'm going to have the skeletons come and land about here-ish. Um, I'm going to have to look at my... Uh, my, 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 um, sir, or my, blah, 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 <laughs> my creative world, holy crap, I feel like I just had, like, a seizure or something, I, I don't know, not a seizure, a stroke, I think that's the correct word, so, yeah, 
Okay, I'm leaving this. I'm leaving this open, obviously, to get in and out. That will change eventually. Eventually. So why don't we place this water right now and see what it does for us? Great. That's actually really nice. Um, actually, that worked out better. Oh. Okay, here comes the kind of complicated part. What I want here is first off for skeletons to not spawn in here. We're gonna break this down here, and then I want. I don't want. The skeletons go through here and break this block because that ruins the pattern. And for a while, I was starting to think, I don't think I could do this without ruining this nice, beautiful pattern. Look how much another brick I had left. Holy crap, I made way too much extra poop. Um, well, what I really want is for the skeletons to come down here, which I definitely think is possible. But I also don't want to give them room to drown. So, for example, here is an issue because they can technically drown there technically according to my calculations so I'm gonna place there's another sandstone block and hopefully that doesn't make it okay I'll see you now here they could drown there as well now which see I did get this working in my creative world like I was saying so I really just have to get this right somehow okay so okay yeah that's bad that is bad news bears um, ah, this is, this water is so freaking annoying. We just really gotta place blocks until it kinda fixes itself, I notice. See, like, that's not good. That's no good. Oops. Nope, I didn't wanna place you there. I wanna place you there. That didn't do crap. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, let's try getting rid of this water and try replacing it and see what happens. Whoa, get off of here! Okay. And actually, while this water is not here, we're going to come down here and replace this all with sandstone. Now while we get the chance, because we're seriously not going to get the chance once um, we roll this out. Autobots, roll out! I don't know why that popped in my head, but it did! Uh, hmm. See, is this going to be right now? Well, let's try it and see what happens. Get rid of that. Right there, and right there. Well, there's no water sounds for saying it scared me, man. See? Hmm. How do we fix this now? Come fix this now! See, it's like... Uh, I know the water should keep pushing them, but I know they sometimes fight the current, and I really don't want skeletons dying by drowning. And I did get this in my crater. Oh, there we go. Is that going to work? I think that did it. Oh, no. They still get water there. Hmm. Okay, what happens if we break the source block, and then we do that? No, that made it worse, actually. Hmm. I'm getting closer. There is no denying that. That didn't make it worse. Okay, so... I can't really figure out a way to get this to work again. But you know what? We're gonna try it out. I am going to have a viewing window, like I said, so if I know skeletons are drowning, we could revisit it if it becomes an issue. But for now, I don't really think it's going to be an issue. Okay, now comes the most, a more complicated part, and I actually need to go check out my creative world again. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm front. Alright, so we did three blocks this way. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Next. Uh, oh, I do have a crafting bench. That's okay. We'll place this here <laughs> very awkwardly. But that's okay. I don't think the um, skeletons have devised a way on how to craft it. That would suck if they eventually made an update where they did devise a way to craft. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. Oh, no. I didn't. I should probably should have made sticks, actually. Well, poopies. I need 13 signs. Is that going to be enough wood? We will find out uno momento. Dang it! By literally, like, just a few. Alright, this should be enough, though. Um, uh, my hands are really cold right now. I don't know. Is it just me, or if your hands get cold? That, um... Okay, I actually want to place exactly 13 here, so I don't overdo it. Where your hands get cold, like, they get really hard to move, and it's, like, it sucks, actually. <laughs> and I need an infinite water source. Dang it. Because the thing is, I'm going to be going... Uh, I'm sure a lot of you actually probably know this, but I'm placing a sign, then water, then a sign, then water, all the way up until I have used up 13 signs and waters at the top of it. 
So I go through there. And that, uh, this way, skeletons, when they, they always jump in the water, so when they actually um, jump, they'll literally go through the water and they won't be able to drown. So, yay. No skeleton dr drownings, I hope. Alright, come on, there we go. So I guess if the water thing isn't an issue... Okay, you know what, we'll just do it here. Alright. Ah, oh, of course! Okay, actually, that will work out fine. Um, place that there. And place that there. There we go. That's an infinite water source now. We should... Ah, dang it. Okay, we need 12 signs now. Once again, like, I have all these blocks on my bars I could move around, but instead I just... I do the one that I actually need. <laughs> okay, so now we'll go like that. And see, that stays. And actually, I should just dig up as far as I can because this is actually going to suck to do. All right. So we're going to go up, and then we're going to place a sign again. Great. And now, we swim up again and place more water above the sign. And see how this works? And so if you do exactly 13 signs, and it, it won't be 13 for everybody. Like, you know, if, if for some reason you're following along on my journey here, and like, you know, also wanting to make this. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, that's placed way too high. Dang it. And now the issue becomes also breaking this, because now we've got to break it. Oh, uh, breaking stuff bobbing in water is the absolute worst. I don't think I'm even doing any damage to this. I am not doing any damage to this at all. Oh. And I threw my pig, too. Of course. <laughs> so frustrating. So now what i got to do here is I'm gonna break this. There we go. And we got to fix my mistake first off. So, there we go. And then, now we gotta cover this crap up again. You guys can't even, like, see a thing I'm doing right now. So, essentially, I'm doing sign water, sign water, sign water. Until I run out of signs. And then I also place one more water on top of all those signs. So, I will actually see you guys um, later on. Once I place all the signs. And actually, this is probably a good place to stop the episode. Um... It is getting kind of blown time, and I actually do got to go to work right now. So, you know, unprofessional. Yay! I'll see you guys on the next episode, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, please feel free to leave likes when you're ready. My name is Chris. In the next episode, we will probably finish the spawner, and then we'll actually start on something more cool. Like, my maybe actually, actually finish my house, because, you know, that's a thing I need to do. And do you see how this works? Sign water, sign water, sign water. Forever. Or until you run out of signs or water. But okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.